Reality shows are entertaining, and when they first started appearing on TV, it was such a new and exciting form of entertainment. Real relationships, real fighting, real drinking your own urine. But how many of these things are actually real? Sadly, in the case of drinking your own urine, that was real. Though as you'll see with these shows, you can't believe everything you see. Here are 10 reality shows you didn't know are fake. MTV's Cribs was notorious for featuring the homes of the rich and famous. As impressive as the episodes were, the show was exposed as being somewhat fake when a lady named Jeanette Varela sued MTV for featuring her home as Jerule's home, claiming that Jerule also trashed her house having parties while he was there pretending it was his. Also, in 50 Cent's MTV Cribs episode, it showed him with three Ferraris, with him claiming they were all his. But all three Ferraris were actually not owned by him at all. They were really owned by a private collector who lent out the vehicles for him to use for his Cribs episode and related music video work. This right here is the F40. See, I'm part of the Ferrari club. This is like the first version of that. Getting you on CDs all the time. There has been a lot of controversy over the Kardashian show being staged. For one, the home that's shown on episodes of their show is not the one that they actually live inside. They film exterior shots at a home 20 miles away from their real house. They do this for safety though, that way people don't know where they really live. That's not the only thing that seems to be fake about the Kardashians though. They have power over all the editing and can choose to make people appear in a negative light if they want. When Kim wanted a divorce from Chris Humphreys, the producer says that he edited the clips at the request of Kim to make Chris look like a bad guy. And amongst other things, their 2013 Christmas episode was filmed in August. And finally, on Kris Jenner's short-lived TV show on Fox, there was a clip of her holding a baby that was supposed to be Kim's daughter Northwest, but it was later revealed to be someone else's baby and not North at all. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. So chicken! On Man vs. Wild, he portrayed himself as a survivor man who could survive out in the wild overnight with nothing but himself and his instinct. Although that wasn't actually how things went down, as it came out that during the production of certain episodes, he was actually sleeping in hotels at night with the production crew and not staying out alone in the woods. And from this clip of him in Hawaii, he's supposedly walking on new and dangerous territory. But you'll see that he's actually in an area right near the side of the road where there's a lot of traffic and people. But you've got to be really, really careful crossing these just because you don't know what's solid and what's hollow underneath. exactly a new and scary place if you ask me. The show is still fun and entertaining and some of the things you see are real, but knowing that it's not as extreme as it's portrayed to be does make it kind of disappointing. According to Reddit user Linux Super User 8, a show titled Pawn Queens, which was supposed to be a ripoff of Pawn Stars, was completely fake. They said they had a friend who signed up to audition for a show that she thought was a bachelorette style show or something similar. The ad didn't give the name of the show, but instead said, we need good looking, energetic young women for our new show. She got called back for an audition, went through a few different interviews and a screen test. Finally, they tell her that the concept is that she will be running a pawn shop with another woman. She's a dental assistant with no experience in the pawn business. Pawn Queens ended up being on for two seasons and they gave her a backstory about how she got into the pawn business to begin with, which was of course all fake. I take pride in having the pawn shop geared toward women. It's super important that females feel comfortable at her shop. How are you? Doing great, thank you. Ooh. Hey, Tom, get a load of this. Oh my. According to various sources, the original run of American Idol was completely fake. The people who come into audition have high hopes that they will win the judges over and be sent to Hollywood. However, they are just brought in for us to laugh at how bad their performances are. I made it through the wilderness. 
Somehow I made it through it. So all those people coming into audition who are there because they really hope to make it big, they never really have a chance anyways. Because according to the source, the real top 20 contestants who make it to Hollywood were already chosen beforehand. According to the source, season 1 winner Kelly Clarkson was already about to be signed to a record label before she ever auditioned for the show. She wasn't somebody who just decided to wander into an audition and then got famous by accident. She was already very seriously interested in singing as a career and was already singing professionally. She was supposedly approached by the producers, who then asked her if she would like to audition for their new show, American Idol. She said yes, and according to the source, was ultimately chosen by them to win long before anyone else had a chance to audition. As for the new run of American Idol, it seems pretty real to me, but you never know. According to Shane Dawson and various other YouTubers, the Teen Choice Awards are completely fake. There's even a disclaimer at the ending of the show that states that while the votes do count towards figuring out who the final four contestants of each category will be, the final choice is ultimately up to the producers. Shane Dawson won a Teen Choice Award and said that he never received his award because they're not real awards to be given out, they're just for the show. Other people who have won awards at the Teen Choice Awards have stated the same thing, that while they won, they were never actually given the award. Viners Cameron Dallas and Matt Espinoza, who lost for Choice Viner in 2015, tweeted that the winners were notified that they had won days before official online voting ended, but they were encouraged to keep tweeting and urging teens to vote, therefore promoting the show, even though the winners had already been picked. It's like Katy Perry says, most, if not all, award shows are completely fake. Not all of the contestants on The Bachelor are really there to try and win The Bachelor's heart. A lot of them just want their 15 minutes of fame. As one former contestant said, a lot of the girls are actually dating producers backstage. And for the girls who are actually there because they do want a chance to win The Bachelor's heart, well, the producers really know how to mess with them. The producers of the show always make sure that the girls have plenty to drink because they know it will make them more talkative and more emotional, therefore making better television. Former Bachelor producer Sarah Gertrude Shapiro revealed to The New Yorker that her job was to get the contestants to open up to her and then give them terrible advice as well as to deprive them of sleep so that they would be more likely to cry. While these things aren't proof that the show is fake, it's all pretty messed up, and they do show just how manipulative the producers are. That was weird. <laughs> and I feel like I should have been like, don't be weirded out. I'm only a guy of a stalker. Don't use that. Um, because I'm not. But it, it kind of was. Mystery Diners was a reality show that involved setting up undercover stings and surveillance cameras to monitor the bad behavior of restaurant employees working at certain restaurants. There are controversies that the show is not really a reality show, mostly because the Mystery Diners and restaurant employees featured in this show are all actors who were hired after going to auditions held in Phoenix, Arizona. During an episode at the Grove Bar and Grill, the owner becomes concerned over a large loss in food and supplies and suspects his newly hired cook, Chef Dave, is the one who stole the items. But Chef Dave is actually a paid actor who doesn't work for the restaurant at all. Mark Streetsy, owner of Parma in Las Vegas, Nevada, believes one of his employees is stealing his expensive deli meats. And I come in the next day and it's like, there's two there. Where'd one salami go? Dance Moms is a show about preteen girls who travel week to week to compete in various dance competitions with their obsessive mothers in tow. It's a show that's notorious for a lot of drama. However, Maddie Ziegler from Dance Moms admitted that the producers would sometimes stage fights between the mothers to boost the ratings. She also said that during one of the finales, Abby Lee made Kalani Hilliker and Nia Frazier compete against each other to determine who would get the opportunity to perform a solo routine at Nationals. Ultimately, she determined that Frazier had won the challenge. However, according to Kalani herself, she actually did get to do a solo at Nationals. It just wasn't aired on TV because they wanted to pretend that only Frazier was able to do her solo. 
Abby Lee also has stated herself that the show was heavily staged, including fake fights and costumes being fake stolen. House Hunters is a show about people going out and looking for a new home to buy, but that's not what really happens behind the scenes. Instead of going out and buying a new house, they just pretend to look for homes and in the end, the house they end up choosing to buy is actually the house that they already live in and had bought months before coming onto the show. They do this because it's easier to show somebody deciding on a home that they really already live in than to actually follow someone around who's looking for a new home to buy. Bobby Jensen, who appeared on a special Texas Week episode, claimed that the producers of the show even went as far as to change the story about why she and her husband were moving to begin with. The couple had already bought their new house before even appearing on the show, and the other two houses that they were considering buying weren't even for sale. The houses belonged to their friends. The producers told them to pretend that they were interested in these houses, even though they had already bought their new home. They of course had them do this because it makes for good TV. All around, this show is pretty fake and I'm surprised it's been on the air for as long as it has. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like the video. I'm going to be doing a lot of uploading over the next few weeks, so let me know what videos you guys would want to see me do next and I'll start working on them. Hope you all have a good rest of your week and until next time, peace you guys.